Good morning guys, I'm doing another one of these day in my life videos. I am just headed to the gym. It is just about 8. My first client isn't until 10 and I have 5 clients today. I made pierogies for breakfast slash lunch. We don't have front desk today so I'm front desk. Something we do when we can is entering the client information and service into the debit machine before they arrive. Okay, so it's 2.55. I did a Russian volume fill at 10. I had a hybrid fill at 12. And then I got my lashes filled, just a mini fill at 1.45 to 2.25. So I get mega volumes. This is double D curl 0.03. Uh, they're not completely full. I don't have very many natural lashes, but I am obsessed. I just returned a call from a client that I got when I was with a fill and I have to post her social media today. I'll show you guys our content calendar, kind of how we plan out our TikToks and what we're posting on each of the accounts. You can just open and flutter, this is just a video. Now you can look at the camera and flutter. I am all done! I just finished with my last three clients. My first evening client it was 4.45 p.m. That was a mega volume mini fill. Her attention was out of this world. Uh, she just has a lot of outgrown lashes all the time. Her lash cycle is extremely fast. And then the second client was my former assistant slash casual marketing girl. Maddie, if you're watching this, hi! The last client was a foreign fill, really clean work. It was really pleasant to work over. She had a pretty full C curl hybrid a cat eye on and she wanted more wisps and the closer I look at her side by side of the pictures she showed me versus what I gave her I think that she even had a little bit of L curl mixed in the ends so I just wrote that in a note for next time I booked her in with a different stylist for her next few fills just the way their availability is lined up which is a huge goal accomplished it doesn't matter who you see in our salon we literally don't care we use the same techniques and everything and notate all the styling sensitivity preferences anything I feel very accomplished about that booking people in and having them comfortable seeing whatever stylist, whatever fill, we're getting better and better at that as a salon. But we didn't post on social media today. We had a bunch of stuff scheduled. I said I would do it, but then my accountant called me and we talked for like 20 minutes just about some questions about switching from sole proprietor to incorporation and just some general tax stuff. But I did that instead of posting on social media today. So I'm gonna do that before I leave, which 9 p.m. isn't really the ideal time to be posting but it's better than nothing. We have our content all planned out probably three weeks in advance right now. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know what time I'm in tomorrow, but I'm hoping to leave the salon within 30 minutes here. My tools are in the CS20, so I'm for sure here for another 20 minutes. My lash room right now is also <laughs> a little bare looking. I just got rid of a bunch of furniture. I just felt like it was feeling cluttered. I think I wanna fairy light this wall because it's like that in room five here beautiful. I just love that. And there's like certificates all nicely. Whereas this room is feeling pretty bland. I love these ring lights from the ceiling. This is actually something that my sister helps me out with when they're turned on. It's magical. Like, look at that. Okay, if it wasn't swaying side to side, but it's been so nice to have these ring lights just out of our way when we're doing lashes. And I just kind of feel like it's kind of spaceship vibes. I just tuck the cord behind that there. But yeah, my lash room right now, I'm not super <laughs> content with. If I could fairy light this wall, hang up a few certificates, I feel like that'd be awesome. Those certificates in the other room are actually mostly mine. I really need to figure out this because I barely lash in this room. Okay, so this is our social media calendar. So the first thing on the schedule today is for our Kiss My Lash Pro page on Instagram, and it's a lash fan post. So just in our giraffes here, I think it's that one. And then it should already have a caption written. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the caption. Okay, and the second thing we have scheduled for today is TikTok. So this is a description of a TikTok draft. We have 77 drafts right now. So I'm gonna look for one with this caption in our TikTok drafts. Okay, so our next scheduled draft is for the salon Instagram page. So this is different than our professional supplies Instagram page. Fabulash day story. So this is a story that we were supposed to post today. Usually around two, we find it's best for the algorithm, but we're gonna go to our story drafts. Uh, here it is, have a fabulash day. Oh, we were supposed to get, 
salon proof of a good lash artist. Uh oh. This is a post, an Instagram post, whereas the other one was a story. In our drafts now, we're gonna go to post draft and we're looking for one that says proof of a good lash artist oh here it is on one of the stylists account here hybrid fill real with green eyes so we're gonna go here we're gonna go to april's page hybrid fill real with green eyes okay so these are the drafts i think that it's this one yep such a beautiful hybrid fill we're gonna edit the cover and i'm actually gonna collaborate with the salon and then we got these foam pump bottles in which i'm definitely not going to do this right now because it's 9 28 p.m but i'm just curious if they're the pink foam pump bottles or if they're the clear foam pump bottles even though this is so unimportant i need to go home my next client, first client tomorrow, is until 11.30 a.m. though. They're the clear bottles, so yeah, we just order 30 to 60 at a time. We have 30 more on their way that are pink, but we both sell these to lash artists as well as we make cleansers with them with prolonged concentrate here. Something I really have to do before I go is save my client's waiver. So like I said, it was a first time client who came in for a foreign fill. So that means that she had to sign a waiver, which we just do on this tablet. This Amazon Fire tablet was I think $90 on amazon and it's used and i don't care we just use it for waivers and the music for the salon because you know when you're playing music on your phone and it's connected to like a speaker and then you go on tiktok or something well for us we were using the salon phone for that but because we're making reels and tiktoks so much like every day it was disrupting the music for the rest of the staff or clients so we are not doing that anymore and this was a very cheap and amazing option it's so convenient for these two purposes so we basically just have it so they draw on the tablet i just got home it's 10 10 i left the salon at about 9 55 i'm not in my pajamas yet but i am in bed i'm gonna make some hash browns and probably scroll tiktok i listened to so much true crime at work today whenever my clients sleep i listen to true crime just on my headphones i listened to when i lash i listened to a lot of stephanie harlow kendall ray mile higher eleanor comment down below if you listen to any of them make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.